Yeah. You woke up now, yeah? yeah? Good lad. Yes, guys, what's going on? Welcome to the Full Time Devils Podcast. I'm Adam McCullough. Today I'm joined by Jay, Webby and Andy. We are here to look at all things Manchester United and, of course, give you our Wally of the Weeks and all that usual stuff as we do on the Full Time Devils Podcast. How are we doing, guys? Yeah, not bad. Not cool. bad. Not don't bad. don't all rush to, to say anything cool at once. Been better. Don't worry. But there you go. <laughs> as you man. can tell, the last game United <laughs> lost against <laughs> Bournemouth. Um, <laughs> by the reactions of everybody here. After we had turned that corner. <laughs> Don't. Is that a corner or is that a revolving door? More like a roundabout. Yeah. <laughs> you, see, you see the entrance exit, we go oh. off, then we'll come back on to it. I want to say so much that I've ever seen. People got giddy about that Chelsea game, first game of the season. If you've not been, it looks 4 it looks mint, you smashed them, but let's have it right, we was in the ground. It could have been fucking 6-5 for them. 7-5 with a chance to miss. But you look at the three teams we've played before Bournemouth, a lot of uh, farmers, that's what he was. Norwich. A lot of farmers, that's what he was. <laughs> oh, sorry, Norwich. you're on about Belgrade first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Two <laughs> lots of farmers and a Chelsea B team. I and mean, we got absolutely hammered at Chelsea, possession wise and all that. Let's have it right. You know, the goals, two great goals. Well, a penalty and a great free kick goes over it. But people are getting giddy again. Could be a lot of these games this year when we get beat. Down to the club, mate. There you go. You know, it's not good enough. And when you say that. down to the club, what do you mean? By not replacing goal scorers, goal scorers with matching and see people hate Lukaku, love Lukaku, scores your goals. He was top goal scorer in Italy. Yeah. There you go. You know, people keep saying, yeah. oh, look at his video of his first touch. Still scored fucking two, though, didn't he? You know, so to let him go, Adam, he wanted to go, but not to get a replacement was criminal. Yeah, I think that's the main thing. Yeah. Letting these players go wasn't the problem. It was the repla- not replacing not them. Replacing was them. a major problem. And then we look at three or four weeks in, we lose. Rashford short confidence, we lose Martial for two months and it's it's all gone Pete Tong, you know, and it's Saturday's game. I told your mate Gary that would happen. You did, Paul, you did. <laughs> uh, and it was just one of, one of those... Is that things. another podcast we slipped that into? Yeah, yeah. mate, you've got a good record. I think you've done uh, it every once since yeah. then. Uh, yeah, but it's, it's just a shambles by the club. Then I, I see that our leader, Mr Woodward, was at Yokohama watching the rugby. It doesn't surprise me. Well, I wish we would have stayed there. I wish we would have got caught in that monsoon. He's probably looking for another... Yeah. Noodle sponsor or something like that. No, it's He's probably looking cool. to Definitely sign a uh, Messi or <laughs> <laughs> putting Ronaldo I was trying to think and Mbappe on, on, on his list. What's the horse? Do you know what, what I mean? Too laggy. Was that one? I ain't got a clue. Too laggy sounds what happens to me after a few uh, beers. Uh, yeah. Very laggy. Andy, you all right over there in your pink chair? Loving it. Loving it, pink chair. Don't uh, break this one. Start my new job. It's. <laughs> <laughs> um, Start my new job, uh, working nights, and um, <laughs> I'm just I'm Look just Look, you're working next Thursday, so you miss the match. That's a <laughs> right talk, <laughs> No, I'll be working. Uh, but um, going. just disappointed with the result. Woke, woke up in time for kick-off, and uh, I'm just real disappointed with the way it is. It's like one step forward, two steps back. And I really do feel for Alec, even though some of this is his, his own doing. But you can tell in the interview, he's hurting, he really is hurting. And I just think it, he's been back to a pie, and the rest is I'll we'll, we'll put all this on you. That's it. Mm. I think there are issues that he's getting wrong. I think there are issues that aren't his fault. Um, I think any manager has to be held to some account. Um, but like you said, it's, it's you know you ain't got you when you're missing certain players and you haven't replaced certain players. You're fighting a losing battle, but. The thing for me is he says things about Brandon Williams, he says things about these players, but still persists with the likes of Ashley Young and stuff. And I just think sometimes you just go for it. Do you know what I mean? Just go for a clean but break. Let's hopefully he plays Sunday, the kid Williams. You know, we've, but it won't surprise you if Mr. Pizza Man comes out of Pizza Hut and slips back into his left back position because he's been gone since the Palace game. What's up with him? You know, I'd love to see Williams play. And about Luke Shaw there? Yes, Mr. Pizza, man, yes. He's getting his parking fine. Uh, yeah, but the thing is, we know on his day he's a great player. He never recovered from that injury. We were both there together that <laughs> night, weren't we? And it's a sad, sad thing because he looked the player we signed, a great player. But obviously, we like the injury happened to the kid at Everton. He's never going to be the same player again. The same with Alan Smith, unfortunately. The same happened to Luke Shaw. And it's one of those things. But play Williams, he's good enough. He's, he do not look out of place, does he? Let him have a run. I agree. Can't do any worse than that, Doug. I just find it weird, yeah. Like, we talk about these youngsters. Let's stop. I don't mean rushing them either. I kind of like what he's done with Greenwood, he's 17. But James Garner and that, play him. Like, what have you got to lose? What have you got to lose playing Brandon Williams? 
Nothing. We already know he's better than better better option than Ashley Young at the moment. Just talking about you, you mentioned uh, Andre Gomez there briefly. Obviously, wish you wish him a speedy recovery. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What did you make of that? Because oh. um, Son was sent off for for the injury. Because if you read the Premier League's statement that they came out with and they released on match of the day and all that, um, the challenge went in by Son. Definite yellow card. I think everyone would have, yeah. have to say. Yeah. It was definite yeah. foul, definite yellow, never a red. Ref had the yellow card out, sees his legs hanging off, I'm not sure. gives him a red. Is that right? Because then you, you mentioned Alan Smith, and I thought about Alan Smith then. John Arnaurisa just kicked the ball at him. Yes. Do you remember? And it yeah. hit his, his leg was off, it hit yeah. it, and he broke. So you were saying John Arnaurisa would get sent off for having a shot because of the injury. Clearing the ball. Is that like, do you know, is that, is that do, where we're going now? It's do you think weird. the referee just absolutely, his head had gone and like you're saying, he'd seen that. No, but the Premier it. League have defended the decision saying it was because of the injury. But you, you can, can get an injury walking yeah, down like that, that's, you, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, Your example with John Arisa is spot on because that, you know, listen, I, I can't stand the guy, but it wasn't his fault. Do you know what I mean? It was an accident. Like with, with Son, he didn't mean it wasn't a malicious tackle or it wasn't a dangerous tackle. I, I think it was. It was. It was, it was a, a tackle bit snide. Where he wanted to hurt him. <laughs> he wanted to. No. I think it was one because because if you see before, there was, Andre was Gomez a, bit had a little bit of a yeah, yeah, little yes, bit of an elbow yeah, at him, yeah. and I don't think it was. Like, I want to injure him. That's a difference. Yeah. Everyone goes in to get the ball. You can't tell me Wes Brown have used to go in thinking I'm gonna hurt the hell out of this guy yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. He's never gonna want it again with me, even if it is a fair challenge and I get the ball. And I just think there was a little bit of take that you can't. Yeah. What about? But he never expected the yeah. injury. What about obviously as, as it rolls on and the collision with a fullback? Yeah, yeah. I think that plays a part in it. Yes. And his landing. Because he well. went off, didn't he? Was it Aurea? Yeah. He went. He went off straight after it. Well, like, man, he didn't he'd done Luke Shara all them years ago. Did, did he get sent off? Did he? He got man of the match. No, but that's the thing. He would have. If but, they're going by these rules now. He would have got sent off because of the issue. But he, he should have got sent off, I think. Yeah. He'll, he'll he'll reduc- I think that was a bad challenge. He'll reduck in the reserve sure. game at Anfield, took out Andy Cole deliberately. I've se- he, he's still on broke YouTube. His broke both his legs. Both his legs. Broke, yeah. broke both his legs. And he, he, he didn't get anything. And that's in the reserve game at going, Anfield. Going back to your thing, though, I, don't, I think that's a nonsense. I don't think that rule should, should be a rule. Because it's weird. Could, because, it? like you say, I could push you and you could just fall badly, just freak accident and break your leg. And then it's like, all right, I'm getting a red card. Well, you could go in two-footed on me. I could just step out of the way of it, not hurt myself yeah. at all. And it's not a, not a red card to you. It, it, it's, it's a nonsense. And then it's kind of put in, so can players now, oh, I'm injured, I have to go off. You got, I know you can't fake a leg <coughs> thing, with your leg hanging off. <laughs> it's like that trick I used to do with the pencil in school. Yeah. It's bending. Yeah. Um, it's like, but you know what I mean? Players can now play on injuries. I know we're taking it away from United, but this may affect him. No, no, it's, it's a good talking point. It's just weird to me. I, I found it really weird. The bad thing is, as well, is all of a sudden the narrative becomes about Son. And I've seen loads of messages of support for Son. Yeah. <laughs> you think there's a kid Son there. was trending more <laughs> yeah, than yeah. Andre Gomez. And it's like, and it's an outrage on Son. And I record feel sorry it? for why Son. Why record? And did actually, you see the leggings, you know, they're taking pictures and recording you. it. I've seen it, you. I've seen yeah, it this I, weekend. You were the only one I got three, three, three different people sent it, me. I don't know, pictures of his leg in the how's treatment the man, room of Goodison Park. Have you not seen it? How have they got that? From the train, changing room. Somebody, I don't want to see that. No, no you no. don't want to see it, I've seen <laughs> it. I was it, putting it back at, in the It's heartbreaking. Yeah. No, I'm not saying Pe- Why do people wait. record that and put it online? No, I think a lot of these pictures have to be taken for... For medical purposes, but, but maybe. Why share it though? No, but, but people do it's not, not my fault, Andy. I don't know. <laughs> why? 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 Share it? why share it? I didn't, I didn't share it. it. But uh, I'm just saying, like, sometimes these images are taken for medical reasons and, and things like that. Yeah. Yeah. As soon as you send it to one person, or as soon as yeah, one person's yeah. got yeah. it, then send it to someone like, you know, someone oh, gets yeah, all the guy took it. Check this out. I'm it's not infrared anymore as well. So you don't have to stand there for five minutes with your phones together. You can WhatsApp them and that. That's it, man. Check this out. Fucking hell, poor lad. Terrible injury on, on the kid. Obviously, I don't think he'd be the same player. I hope he is. Is he coming through his mic? Yeah. Because his mic's by one end, but it's definitely not the one I want it to be by. <laughs> it keeps falling down. So I've got a problem. Yeah. Let's so, problem. so, I'll load it here, Jake. It's all right. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, basically, obviously, that the kid Gomez was at Valencia with Gather. Did he break his leg there as well? I'm not sure, but obviously... Gary was trying to offer them to United, the kid who's now at City, the full-back. Right who went, who, Cancelo. Yeah. Cancelo. 
and United won't buy him and it was a decent price as well. You Difficult know. for United to trust the word Gary was saying when he was getting slapped 7-0 every week. Yeah, right? but obviously, if they sent the right people, they could see these two boys <laughs> could play, you know. Yeah, it's true. Just the, the, the pity with Gary over there, he never took him, kept anyone Spanish with him and as soon as he got there, there was a group who didn't He did want a David Moyes, basically. He didn't want, want him to be successful. To their own little clique, he should have got them out of the club, but it was a lot harder and a lot easier said than done. And they was the ones who suddenly, after he left, the performances went up. They probably just didn't like getting a poison challenge. <laughs> challenge That's from the horse's yeah. mouth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, been to Valencia a few times. The stadium's right near the, the beach, isn't it? I mean, right now, I've never been to the Mustache. I might be getting you mixed up there with Deportivo. That's definitely next to the beach. We played, goal at we played Deportivo. I was there that night, 2 0. Yeah, with a mad jock. We had a great day. And I was a t- quick story about Buckethead when he was absolute lunatic. He remember him coming into my room in the hotel and kicking off that motel. It was too loud, so he picked it up and threw it into the pool. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. And it was his trip. <laughs> He's <laughs> trip, yeah, bucket, yeah, yeah. Great, great Beckham goal. Um, <laughs> we, did Rude score the other one? I think so, yeah. Well, was two nil. Three, three one or three nil? No, two nil, I think. Was that the one where he sure. broke his bet at Sarsfield in that game? That was, the home leg. Done, yeah. that was the home leg. The home leg, yeah. Yeah, yeah. against that Argentinian, one it? Dish. Uh, First time is. we heard the word term um, met at Arsenal. But uh, that was uh, some trip, that, and it's oh, it rained throughout, and the, the pit, the stadium is right next to the sea. It's, it's unbelievable. It was at. Um, do you remember that time in the English newspapers that were like praying over Beckham? I was going to say that. You remember you could yeah, touch, cut, it you touch it on the front page? Yeah. 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 You ought to get a, yeah. you ought to get a hey. mind bender for the World Cup, yeah. innit? <laughs> Desperate. Do you imagine how many people were touching it, though? Did you touch it, Jay? I might have done. I wasn't in the best place in my life at the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Skinning up on it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Touched it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking yeah. it was walking across the room, <laughs> chasing the foot. <laughs> <laughs> the likely one is I did, I did yeah. Oh, but I remember that. That was ahead of the 2002 World Cup, wasn't it? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So I remember we... Um, did Argentina, didn't we? Yeah, and yeah. he scored and the he penalty. Scored the belt, yeah. That, that was all great, he did, one. That. that was amazing, that. Yeah. And I, I love was that convinced. Ball. Yeah. Gold. Oh, yeah. Gold. I've still got that was shit. Kalina, that's was Kalina the referee that day? I can't remember. Kalina. Yeah. He yeah, was, wasn't he? Yeah, he was, yeah. Mm. It was amazing. That. The only referee to ever be on the cover of a football game. Really? Pro Evo, yeah. number five, this, 2006. Uh, yeah. Yeah. PS2. 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 Yeah. I can always remember when he, when, what we were talking about, was it Villarreal, when Everton got into the Champions League knockout stage and he and disallowed he the gold. He disallowed the Ferguson gold in here somewhere yeah, to get yeah, through. Yeah, it was, it was, uh, he said it was a foul, wasn't it? Yeah. Everyone was, was saying, Pierre Luigi's clearly the greatest referee and Everton fans were like it's fucking <laughs> shit <laughs> that, that, that goal that goal would have put them through wouldn't it yeah, yeah. Well, never mind Everton anyway. man <laughs> was that the season when Rooney broke through it was wasn't it I couldn't tell you just either. before mm. now 2002 no, 2003 he's won he's won his last minute is that when they had Arsenal. Kevin Campbell and that was Tom when Ferguson. that was 2000 Tom, yeah. That was after Rooney. It was after it was after Rooney wasn't it it was a player wasn't it because they went into the Champions League the year that the Scousers won it because they finished fourth and the Scousers finished fifth. But because he won it. But because they, they weren't going to let him in. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember, yeah. they had to have that. And then they got a bind, didn't they? They, 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 they let him in. Probably yeah. get a no, because they were only going to give us four spots. Yeah. yeah, and because Liverpool won it, they were like, well, Liverpool got to be in it because they've won it to yeah. so defend it. Um, so they, they let them both in. And then I remember that was this you, uh, for PSV, ripping us a new arse. Yeah. He was a good player. Was he Canadian? Yes, he was very fast. Best Canadian footballer ever, right? Cal- yeah, I yeah, I can't even think. I can't even think of one. I'm being honest. Carl Valentine, Clayton lad, played in the World Cup. Oh yeah, yeah. Carl Valentine, really? He's friends with him Canada. on Facebook. He's for from Canada. Yeah. Played for Oldham. Uh, yeah, played for Oldham. He, he left. Played in the World he left Cup. Canada to come to Clayton. No, I think he's man. Went to Canada one day. Canada. <laughs> he lives in Canada. He's a, he played for Oldham. Played in and Clayton. He's a good lad. Lived in Clayton. Played really? in the World Cup. Carl Valentine, winger. Yeah, yeah. There you go. <coughs> Brother, he's yeah. still over there, yeah. and he's a, oh, I think he's a coach for the the under 18s so Yeah, he nice lad as well. Does the community yeah. stuff, Carl yeah. Valentine. Nice <laughs> and Cal. if you want to, Carl. Hit the button. Name Carl or Carl? Carl. 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 Oh right, yeah. Um, talking of being abroad and using your oh. phone and oh. using the the internet. Um, it's internet. It's internet. You want to get on that internet? That's what you want to do. Um, the easiest place to watch all the Premier League action is using F- Express VPN. Um, because what that does, that allows you to access EPL streams from around the world 
at a fraction of the price it would normally cost. And how it works is, if you use ExpressVPN to buy an 11 Sports account, ExpressVPN then lets you spoof your location so you it, you know it looks like you're wherever you need to be um, for over two for just two pound a month. So it comes with apps for computers, mobile, and digital media for things like. I would have needed TV. that when I was in um, Barbados because basically I was in Barbados and yeah. uh, whenever I wanted to watch something that was on British television, I'd have to jump on that. Or if I wanted to get on my Netflix or my Amazon Prime, I'd have to get on that and pretend I'm in the UK. My missus also used it to watch um, ITV Hub and Love <coughs> Island. Imagine Love going on holiday and watching Love Island. Damn right, mate. Love holiday. Island's mint. Why are you on holiday? <laughs> We're in Barbados. <laughs> to be fair, yeah, I like Love Island, I'm not going to lie, but uh, if it was in Barbados, I don't think I'd be watching Love Island. Sad life, yeah. And I've, listen, we've all got our guilty pleasures. Um, so, also, it's quite good for protecting your online activity. So, um... <laughs> <laughs> So the FBI don't see uh, what you're up to. Just in case, you know what I mean? You know, deleting that search history. Um, so you can protect your online activity today. Find out how you can get one uh, free, three months free at expressvpn.com slash extra. That's express.com slash extra. We'll put uh, a link in the description. Um, so it's good for protecting your online security. And also if you're abroad, you want to use it. I used it when I went to Denmark. I was, in, I was over in Denmark for the World Cup and it allowed me to do some... Uh, Betting on there because you couldn't bet in Denmark. Nice. Was no. it illegal in Denmark? Betting? I don't know. I think it's, yeah, it might be. There was some reason I couldn't order. A certain website I wanted to get on the betting website I couldn't get on. Yeah, so it's like go. if you've got some betting accounts, don't let you log on abroad. That's what I'm saying to you. So there you so go. So you get a VPN. So check it out. Wait, Express yeah. VPN. Make sure Freedom you go incognito. Free. Yeah, man. Obviously, it's season season apply and all that. Um, back to the football. Um, which player do you think needs the use of a VPN to hide their internet history the most? Jesse Lingard. <laughs> um, <laughs> didn't see that question coming. And being honest with you, <laughs> um, I think one player that's I don't know, not struggling. Like one player, Marcus Rojo, is that mental internet search history. Yeah, he's just crazy, isn't he? He's crazy. This is why he should play. He loves websites like Faces of Death and that. Yeah. Him. Like, he's like, I don't know, man. I'm sort of buying into When, he, when well. he's played, he's done okay for me. I quite like him and him and um, if you have Williams on the left as well. He's another, he's another one who gets stuck in. Quite I like think him. obviously you've got to play, villain, play, play free at the back. Like, but he's done, he does all right for me at centre half and the two winners with Bailey did all right. Just a bit suspect at left back for me. Mm. In Look that three, when he has a little bit more protection and yeah. he's allowed to fly he a got, bit more. He, he got uh, criticised by your mate big time from the evening news after the Chelsea. I give him two out of ten. He's that fuck face. Look at us, yeah. Fuck Absolute yeah. plant pot. Mate, block me. Because you know when, when, remember when the coach got attacked at West Ham? Yeah. And he said we should get points deducted. Are you United? Yeah. And then I said, literally, I, like, I said that, that's crazy. Our coach got attacked. Why would they deduct us points? And then he said, I didn't realise that that was the reason we were late. Take your outrage elsewhere and block me. <laughs> like, Stealing the living. Good, good journalism, that Stealing mate. is a literally chief blog writer. Because his missus there. He writes his a blog. Yeah. Is in charge of sport, isn't she? I mean, yeah. we were in a media room um, somewhere. And he like wrote in his blog about how we didn't belong there. And I, I'm not yeah. sure whether it was partly racially motivated or I think it just, was. he just doesn't, just Did doesn't like us. Like? And uh, he wrote about us in his blog, and then I seen him like a few weeks later at Southampton. And when I was calling his name, he wouldn't dare look at me. Mate, you call him out, yeah. He saw. He wouldn't. He wouldn't. He wouldn't look old. He saw some of our lot outside one of the games away. I can't remember a few years ago. It might have been PSV or whatever. <laughs> Podcast calls left. And, 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 and like it was Craig and someone. He like they said something like just chatting. He came over and he was like, "Oh yeah, I hope man, or you know, or one man needs to start or whatever." And then it was like an article in the evening news. United fans calling calling out for one matter and all this. <laughs> like, he's not, he's not, he's unhinged. Can, you can tell he's got no friends, innit? Yeah, oh, mate, he's blatantly a loner and he's blatantly needs his internet history checking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wally of the week there for you. Already got that in. Fuck yeah. face is Wally of the week. Mate, yeah. I'm with you on that. Solid yeah. Yeah. Mate, seriously. Yeah. And okay. do you know what? Right? I'm not going into this whole all journalist shit and all that. No, they're, they're not, not, but he is. <clears throat> Yeah. He's not a journalist. Is he fuck? He's not a journalist. And that's why some of these like get scared because people like me, little shit face minorities with no journalist background come along 
and start getting into places where they've worked their bollocks off to yeah. be pricks. Um, well, just gonna have to s cope with it, aren't you? They have to go around the houses. You go straight through the door. Kick it off with my law degree in the wrong place. What do you make, Mark of Fred? He's because he's, he's Fred. I mean, he's <laughs> <laughs> getting quite a lot. Quite a lot of people are sort of like warming to him. Aren't he got now? he got criticised a lot after yeah. the game against uh, Bournemouth, and I thought McTominay was probably That's a little bit worse than him that day. Because I think McTominay away, will get away with it because he's one of our own. Yeah, and two, the way he plays. You always get yeah, a little yeah, bit yeah. of leeway when you play in that way. Yeah, Not shot. saying it's right, but you do. Yeah. It's like comparisons of Tevez and Berbatov. Tevez always got that leeway because he yeah. ran around like a headless chicken. Um, whereas I thought Fred had a pretty good, not a pretty good game. He had a better game than McTominay. He was picking out Pereira a lot and Pereira would just waste it. Mm. Whereas like, you know, Pereira was finding that extra pass. Fred looks mint. Hit and miss, up yeah. and down, in and out. We need him to have some consistency. But if our midfield is Fred and McTominay, it's a worry if that's your first choice. And the people that were coming out, we had a fan camp. And that bloke that jumped in after Norwich. We don't need Pogba anymore. Come on. Have a day off. All this has shown for me recently is how much we do need Pogba. Because like you say, I don't mind Fred and McTominay and Pogba in midfield. Mm. I think that midfield is all right. But Fred... For this season. Yeah. Fred, McTominay and maybe Pereira. Or Fred, McTominay and... Who else is there? You, you look at Pereira. You know, and maybe Jesse. It's not good enough probably. Your number ten, not just for Man United, but for probably any club, is the all important position on the pitch. But that is a key position for me, that number ten, to unlock the door. Now we've got three people who can play that in my eyes at our club: Go on. Pereira, Lingard, and Mata. Now Mata's getting the shit end of the stick. Gomez. Yeah, when he's fit. Yeah. He's getting the shit end of the stick. Now, why wasn't he brought on on Saturday instead of Lingard? Mata is a class player. Exactly. You know, he's not getting a fair... Now, what? where's Matic? Is he injured? Someone mentioned that on the fan yeah. cams. I said, uh, we've had four games in like a week. Or three and he's not... And Matt has not played in one of so them. he's got to be injured. I heard he's got a calf strain, and that's why he didn't go to Belgrade. But they're not getting a... Matter especially, that that could have been ideal for him to nick us a point on Saturday or get us at equaliser and go for the winner. Do you think that's the main issue in the team at the moment? Oh, is that, that number 10 position? I think it's a concern. Because we play, we've played 4-2-3-1, three, 4-1-2. Three, three, so we've always played with someone in that area. But when you look at it, who's been playing there? Jesse Lingard, Angel Gomez, J uh, Juan Mata, and occasionally Andreas Pereira. Pereira played none okay there first half against Liverpool and he changed him. But none of them have been ultimately nailed the position no, themselves. No, no, no. So do you think if we had that position sorted, we'd be performing a lot better. If you look at like, I hate looking at these stats, but like our XG stats and all that, we should be like top four. Like when you look at things like that, but we're actually not. Mm. I think I think you're right. I think the, top, the, the, the number 10 role, because you can argue Rashford on his day, Martial, um, you can even put a case like you're saying that Fred's on certain games, I thought he played well against the Scousers, McTominay sitting in front of the defence, but you need someone who's going to unlock that defence. You need someone who's going to give Marshall and Rashford the balls they need and James as well. And it's just not been happening. And it's like some of the performances in that number 10, certain spells have been shocking. Mm. Not throughout the whole game, but sometimes, like you say, like Pereira being wasteful. He's done that a few times. Yeah, on like dilly-dallying on the ball, divering. There was a few times where, mm. you know, if Pogba's in that position. Yeah, no, ball. yeah. But when, was it, when were we our best under Ollie? was when Pogba was more or less in that position, wasn't yeah. it? when we were banging in goals and he was just getting forward and he wasn't having to worry about dropping back. And now this season, when he has played, he's sort of been sitting deep, which is obviously where he's been play told to play. But he's very fortunate to still be at United with Pereira. I we're, agree. We're looking very at it there. You'll, you'll probably know, lads, but if you look at our team when Solskjaer come in, correct me right, the midfield would have been uh, Matic, Herrera, Pogba. Yeah. Well, that would have yeah. been yeah. it, yeah. You know, so Arena is a big loss for me, even though a lot of people didn't. Energy, yeah. And yeah. It, it's energy. And quality. Yeah. And, and leadership as well. Herrera, you know, he was one of those that had talked to his teammates, he talked to the ref, he had a is bit of injured, about him. He's injured at the moment because I watched that game the other night. He has been in and out. Of the yeah, season. and he got beaten, didn't he, by a bottom of the league? Uh, That's what PSG, I mean, it's just a, a waste of time. I went off seeing PSG 
he's never played apart from one game. You know, yeah, I've not he's, seen he's been in and out of the team. He's been I, injured. I watched Bruno Fernandez uh, sporting Lisbon last week in the Portuguese league last Thursday night. He practically ran the show, set up the first goal, scored the. He gets goals and there. assists every single yeah. game. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, Man United, he, Man that United. Portuguese league, and it's like the Gordon Sunday Man league. Man United <laughs> systems allegedly <laughs> said he doesn't pass it. He finds wrong passes. Well, you know, I look good over there, Andy. You know what I mean? It's Portuguese league. I think Andy's right. No, he's right. You're saying. I think there's a thing about United where we don't. We don't find the stars before they come the stars. Which but if he was that good, Andrew, back in the day. why aren't the big clubs going and got him? Why but wouldn't but, uh, but, but then, why, if he? Go, so when he goes Tottenham, and then in three years we're going to be saying, oh, we should have signed him. We've done this so many times with players, and I think Andy's actually... Uh, I don't know whether Bruno Fernandes is the only example, but there's players out there where you look at it and you think there's been so many years. We played Ajax in the Europa League. We saw Christian Eriksen for ourselves. We saw Ander Herrera at Bilbao for ourselves. We had a midfielder, Pogba. We played up against Herrera. We played up against Eriksen. We could have snapped them players up yeah. back then and had a midfield sorted. We never, ever did it. And I think there's times we were starting to do that. Wan Bissaka, we never allowed him to go elsewhere first and then come to United. Yeah. We didn't allow, you know, Danny James to yeah. go to Leeds, Leeds yeah. and then, you know, come to United and we have to get in first for those players and check the, we're, check the we're gamble. left far too behind we're left behind far too often check the gamble um, how, much, how much did Spurs pay for those? I don't real. think it's always a gamble when you look at yeah. some of these if a player's creating so many chances scoring goals and making assists I know we can look at Mkhitaryan and Kagawa and say well it doesn't always work out and that's I thought, true I thought it but, was, was half right I but, but, but like you right. say that even that wasn't much of a gamble Kagawa wasn't really a gamble. I mean, he still won a league with us. All right, he didn't play a big it's part. It's like saying there. James Madison wouldn't have been a great player because mm. he only did it at Aberdeen for a bit, and Do then he went I mean? to where? Where was he after Aberdeen? Um, oh, I can't remember off the top of my head. He went on loan somewhere else. Um, but he went was out it on switch. It, no, it might it, have been yeah. something. They played in blue, didn't they? Go on, Google it. Google well, Leicester now. playing. Blue. I actually seen something about that the other day. When he was at Norwich, they sent him on loan, didn't they? Norwich, and then he went to Aberdeen. Right, and then he went to Norwich, somewhere. and then he went to Leicester. Yeah, it was Norwich, though. You just got Norwich, commentary, Norwich, commentary, commentary, Norwich, commentary, Norwich Aberdeen. Then he went to UV. He's a great player. Aberdeen. Then he went He's to Madrid. Guy, isn't he? A good player. I'd have him. This is it, though. Like you say, Simon. Ma- Simon Madison, Bruno Fernandes. Mate, I'd have Leicester's team. Was it Bruno Fernandes last season? Everyone knows he it. He didn't put bro. 23 goals last season. What, the kid who's... Won a Portuguese uh, cup. Was the kid who's he gone to Atletico Madrid from the young kid? Jao Felix. <sighs> Looks a player, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah but how much did they pay for him? Yeah, you know. That's what He's I mean, man. Yeah. yeah. Atletico have the knack of getting them strikers don't yeah. they? they lose Aguero they sign Forlan or yeah they like, always do don't they like, Forlan and Aguero yeah like they had Torres didn't they had Aguero like you said they had Forlan they had Falcao. Costa Falcao yeah it's just like uh, Diego Costa well, they seen it didn't they they paid Baran. the dough they paid the dough didn't they yeah. you know they do they do they yeah, do he's class, very well class. Yeah, well the trippy uh, is doing all right over there isn't it mm. yeah, so English players well, they are one of the best. over there they are one of the best teams yeah just sit my fall short just at the end don't they all the time I think they've got a right to get it. It's been hard being an athletic old fan like getting to the Champions League finals. Consistent, always in the Real Champions League. Yeah, but yeah. you've you got to look at that, though. They've, they've had a right touch there getting all that money for that Greensburg because he's piss poor. <laughs> I tell you, I watched him. I, I tell you what, I watched him for Barcelona of a week. I'll pause it. And we was going to give him 100 million. I'm surprised United him, never. You know. I'd still have him. You know. No, no. I think Watch it's just him. that whole. I don't I know. Think I, it's I, that I, whole, I think it's a bit much. I'll give you two and eight. I think it's that whole. I'll give you two and eight. messy thing. It's. It's hard. It's so weird, hard to stand out of that. And they're complaining about like, you. Can see, know, like everyone was like, "Oh, he's shit. He's shocking and all that." Well, there's another one we can speak about. Do you know what I mean? His, his numbers weren't that bad. We're going on about our manager giving him time and look what Bayern Munich have just done. Yeah. Big, big team mentality. Big club. Have we not got that? No, we've not got it. No, we've not got it. It's different though for Bayern Munich. I get where you're coming from, but it is, Why? it is a little bit. Why? Because is it for because starters, leagues like y- Yeah. It is. They right are the well. champions, aren't they? Might as well be Celtics are a great man. <laughs> he did. Um, <laughs> but it is. Like, they dominate that league, right? Any yeah. good player that comes up from every other new clubs usually snap them up yeah. unless they go abroad. Yeah? They, they win the league pretty much every season. Yeah. And the only sort of question mark is, did it, are they going to win the Champions League? Yeah. Pep Burnt went there, walked the league every season he yeah, was there, he the and got pelters because he couldn't get into the Champions League final. Yeah. And it was considered a failure. If someone came into United and won three champ- titles on the trot, we'd be building a statue for him. 
Do you know what I mean? It's like it is a different standard over there. So I, I, I can sort of that. understand that why he's got sats and I don't think that. I, fair enough if you're not Oli in or whatever, but I don't think the fact that the Bayern Munich boss has got sats has got any relevance to what's going on with Oli. No. I just think that's a different I fucking think story. Just a different, obviously, like saying they're doing the league all the time, most of the time, but they didn't mess about, did they? You know, they got beat 5 1 by a bunch of duck eggs and they, they flirted him, you know. So, so we want to back our manager. I didn't think Oli would have been sat there. Not Real Madrid, Barcelona. Oh, yeah, Bayern, yeah, 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 yeah. Gone. Yeah. Any other club. Yeah. But United don't want to go down this yeah, but river. Like, They've got this that. plan, haven't they? I think about the plan, Woodward lads. knows it turns to him as well. Of course, because people are going to say, hang on a minute, you've had four managers, what have they done? Let's look at you now. He don't want to be looked at, but the thing is, with there, if we sack Oli on Sunday or whatever, or Thursday, Friday, he's st- still got the same oh, players. Are the club. Till, oh, are the club. It's all genuine. Have they just pulled everything back, thought, here's a cheap option for a manager, here's some cheap options in the summer. When I say cheap, I mean, we only spent 40 million. Yeah. And they can sack the club with that potential still there for the return. I almost forgot about probably that. looking at, possibly, I don't like to get excited about the Glazers fucking off because of what it could possibly yeah. mean in terms of the human rights abusers coming in. But it could possibly look like they're getting gearing up <coughs> ready to sell. Well, we hope that day comes very quick. Yeah, but like I said, it's a better devil. You know who do you want? The greatest thing for us is to be run by someone who lives in England who's got a load of money who loves United, but that never happened. have to live in England. No, but... <laughs> Let us spend our own money, would be good. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, you look at that kid who's just bought, is it Nice, the Mancunian? Yeah, that wants to buy Chelsea as well. The one who, Man United fan. You know, one of the richest men in the world. And he's gone and bought... But the thing is, if you've got four billion to spend on Manchester United, you are a lunatic. Yeah. You're not You're not spending four billion on a football club because it makes good business sense. No. You're, you're doing it because you want to be involved in some yeah. sports watching yeah. or some sort of thing. Yeah, I mean, you're right. You're spot on because... That's the only way it's going to happen, isn't it? Let's not go down that wormhole before I don't do I politics. I just, want, I just want my football team to be successful. That's it. If, it's a, if it happens, it happens and I'll be happy. That's it. I think we wait a few years. I wouldn't, I wouldn't give up my season ticket. No, no, no. no, no, no. no thanks. The Glazers never got rid of me. I, I might have to delete a few tweets. I'm not deleting my tweets either. <laughs> I never did it over that other thing. I'm not doing it now. <laughs> um, <laughs> fuck them. If you're going to behead me, behead me. So it's not that like, it's just like my, I might I might be a little bit hypocritical and after what I said about City. Fans, but it's not hypocritical if we point it out. City fans are just pretending mm. it's not happening. Yeah, that's anyway, a good point. I like that. I like. We got to wrap up because Andy's got to go in like a minute. Um, Wally's of the weeks. I'm thinking. Did we agree on something earlier? You, yeah, you, you said Lucas, didn't you? And I, I'm with you. Oh, yeah, fuck face. Yeah. VAR. Again, VAR. Italian what? manager. <laughs> just steady on. Yeah, there's, no, there's an Italian... Palatelli oh, yes, got good 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 used good. this Palatelli, weekend yeah, and he walked yeah. off. And the manager of the team... Oh, hang on a minute. It's not just him, Brescia. Though. Yeah, Brescia. He, he said, oh, it, nothing happened. The saying that Balotelli could get fined. Oh, well... It's a joke. That's it's a, a joke. Look. The player's trying to drag him back onto the pitch is a joke. He was upset. Um, I'm just trying to make sure. Like, no. That's why I don't get. How can you? How can you make a stand when no one's letting you make a stand? All right, so they're pulling... Sorry, Verona have been punished with partial Verona. stadium. Stadium closure yeah, for one game. Oh, what did you? One game. Fucking you look at there. Obviously, the, the England thing. I never watched the game, but obviously you read and heard about on the news. And they got what is it? Another three club partial closures and a stupid fine. And the fine's not even half what that Nicola Brentford got f- for showing a sponsor on his underpants. Yeah, it's a joke. It's an absolute joke. I so think it's sometimes it's. Good. I think like and look, look, look everyone has racist. We had yeah. it at United, yeah. and I think sometimes it's about self policing. Well, and I think yeah, I we've seen that you know, like, people dubbed him in said yo this is the geezer like he's got sorted Everton it happened recently yeah. um, the guy that, fake up as well, I don't know some people are going to say grasses but I don't mind if you're grassing on, on racist nah, yeah. um, but so it's like I think it's about self policing as well and it's, there's no there's no fear of consequences bro if I went to Old Trafford and thought I'm going to be racist today I'd fully expect myself to get arrested or something yeah. so the yeah. fact that these guys are fearing no repercussions is nuts and that needs to change anyway guys make sure you're subscribing on itunes soundcloud spotify all that jazz and youtube um apologies it wasn't a bit longer we had a few technical difficulties in between um make sure you're checking out the uh, express vpn yeah link, the, the link's in the description um make sure you check andy out on instagram webby out on twitter united underscore webby uh j at rffh um, and subscribe to full-time devils for now, we're out.